Okay, so this just came out of the freezer. It was in there for about a half hour, like I said. Either a half hour in the freezer or about two hours in the refrigerator. Just going to give it one more kind of smooth over. Get those rough edges off. And what I want to do is I want my fondant to go over here all the way to the back, but not worry about the sides. The sides are actually going to add two separate pieces. Okay, so... Actually, it looks like I need to turn my fondant like this. Put it over, bring it right up here, and place it on. Okay, so I'm starting smoothing it from the top and then down here. And then lift this out, smooth it in here, down here. And then what we'll do is we will cut, get the scissors here, get the buttercream off of them, cut right at this edge here. Okay, we can actually go ahead and smooth that down a little bit like that. Back here, we'll go ahead and take the pizza cutter Cut that off. And the front, same thing. And then cut this side off. Okay, so at this point we can go ahead and place it on our board. Put some royal icing on the board. Pick this up. I like to place it at a slight angle. There we go. Like so. Okay, so I've got a couple pieces of red rolled out here. Make sure this is pushed in all the way. Kind of smooth that out. Fill in that little hole there. Okay, and then I want to just take this. Cut straight up here, straight up here, and straight up bottom. Okay, and then lift this up, pop it right on there and let that kind of fold over and line this right up at the bottom there. At this point I like to use the spatula at the bottom and just kind of push it in there. Then take your scissors, lift this back up and cut straight across the top. And then in here, and straight down. Okay, and then cut the rest of this off. You need to cut a little bit off first so you can actually see what you're doing, and then go ahead and cut it level with the top of the cake. Okay, and then we'll do the same with the other side. And then move on to the next step.